The following program is brought to you by Element 14, the electronics community where you can connect and collaborate with top engineers from around the world. Join now at element14.com slash presents. Greetings programs and welcome back to Element 14 Presents. Matthew here, you there, and it's Valentine's Day. So for this special occasion, I wanted to build a little device that's kind of a sweet spot in my nostalgia circuits. I want to build a love tester or a love meter device. Now there's a couple of different design motifs here. You have like your big, ridiculous old school wooden cabinet with lots of blinking lights, the handle there that you grab onto. And then you have like your truck stop style, like real cheapy, 25 cents in, you put your hand on the thing, it measures your electrodermal activity and it gives you kind of this like, you know, pseudo scientifical type of readout. And then you have Nintendo's entry into the marketplace here. Before Nintendo made the NES, they were making electronic games like the Game & Watch. But before they made the Game & Watch, their very first electronic novelty item was called the Love Tester. And it's a small box with a couple of electrodes, little conductive parts that come out. And the idea is that one of the lovers will hold onto one of the electrodes, one of the lovers will hold onto the other, and then they'll hold hands. And uh, it's supposed to measure their attraction to each other. Um, and it's an interesting little design, and I thought that might be a little bit of fun to sort of recreate in a manner of speaking. And that's what we're going to do in this video. So snuggle up to somebody close and let's get started. Amazing hacks. Inspired designs. Each week, Element 14 Presents brings you innovative projects using electronics, engineering, and more. So I kind of wanted to evoke the idea, uh, the design aesthetics of some of the old school arcade, arcade love meter, love tester things, as well as the old Nintendo uh, handheld uh, electronic toy thing. So I came up with this basic idea here. So you've got a box. Uh, it kind of looks like an old school, uh, like a VU meter kind of thing, like an old, uh, like an old tuner or something like that. A uh, big window here with a needle in there uh, gives you that, you know, kind of evokes that old uh, test equipment kind of look to it with lots and lots of LEDs. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do all this yet, but basically we'll be backlit here. We'll have... Uh, LEDs kind of building up like a VU meter going across this way. We'll have, you know, some like hot stuff and cold fish and, you know, all the little silly things that you see on the old arcade games uh, to light up a button to say we're ready and a little piezo speaker buzzer thing to play a little melody or something. Attached to this box is going to be a couple of handles. So you can grab one, you hold your partner's hand and they grab the other one and you can measure the electrical uh, conductivity between the handles there through, through the skin contact. And that's essentially it. So I'll have like a metal handle here, a metal handle here, and then a nice little wooden box with lots of acrylic and blinky blinkies in it. Then as far as the electronics go, it's pretty simple. It's an Arduino in here that handles all the processing. We have some uh, leads going out to our handles. We've got a battery. We've got lots of blinky lights coming off of there. And then a couple of leads going to a servo that's going to turn our little needle. And uh, that's, that's really it. Now, Karen has actually done something very similar to this, basically a stripped down version of this on the BBC Microbit. And you can check that out on the learning circuit on element14.com, link in the doobly-doo. So we need our Arduino, we need to get some uh, acrylic cut. I'm gonna have plasma do that. Of course, we'll need a battery and lots of LEDs, arcade button, toggle switch, wires. Uh, gonna make the handles probably out of aluminum. Uh, I need a piezo buzzer, I need my little servo, and then everything's gonna go in a nice handsome case. Let me get over onto the Element 14 community at element14.com, order my parts, 
and someone will set up us the bomb, um, and then I'll go to the hardware store and get the rest of what I need. Okay, so when I got our basic supplies right here, yeah, I got my good old Arduino. Uh, we're going to simulate, because there's just me right here, and I love myself so much that it's just going to show, uh, it's not gonna show any kind of resistance, uh, so it's just gonna be five volts passing through. Um, not a problem. So uh, we're gonna use a 1K potentiometer to simulate uh, any sort of discrepancies between two people and, and give it a little bit of resistance there. We're gonna have our output on one of these little servo guys. And then of course, got a breadboard, our computer to get everything set up and some jumper wires to connect everything in between. So let's go ahead and start looking at how this circuit goes together. So basically we have three parts to this sort of Arduino sketch. The first part, we need to be able to measure the connectivity uh, of you know the body that it's going through as an analog input. Now, we're gonna convert that analog value into a percentage of the voltage maximum. That's not a completely necessary step, but it's nice to get a serial output and we'll be able to kind of diagnose that. And maybe we'll be able to play with that doing some other things. Thirdly, we're going to map that analog value to a particular deflection of the servo. So we'll be able to map it and have a certain amount of deflection that's relative to the um, total, that percentage of the five volts that's coming through. Let's go put some code together and then we'll put it into the circuit and we'll see exactly what we get. Okay, so we've got uh, pin 13 going into the uh, input of the potentiometer we have ground on the output and then the voltage divider the center pin uh, going into our analog so now we can go from zero volts all the way well not zero volts four five millivolts or something like that anyway effectively zero up to um looks like it's maxing out right at a thousand which is fine i mean we've got that we'll just map it so let's go ahead and wire this guy in and add the code for that. Do you like free stuff? You can join the Road Test program. You can get free dev kits, test equipment, and even online training courses. In exchange for a detailed review, join our Road Test program. These are product reviews conducted by Element 14 community members like you. Learn more at the link below. Ah, free stuff. Right now we've got our servo wired in here and we have added a few lines here. Now we've got uh, our servo library included. We have declared the name of our servo, which is needle. And then we've attached the servo to pin 12. Done a little bit more here. I have gone ahead and I've changed this line. So when it reads in the serial monitor, it's actually going to show the voltage and not just a rel relative analog value. Uh, lastly, we have added in our servo here. So we are declaring this meter variable to be the same thing as the sensor value. Then we're going to map that value between zero and 180 degrees on the servo. And then we simply write that value, that angle to the servo, and it just sits there and points and holds right there. So it's sitting about halfway and that's sitting about halfway. So then we can start to move that. Look at there, it's all the way to one side and all the way to the other. Okay, so we have tested it with our potentiometer and we know we have mapped our servo correctly. Now we got to give this sort of a live fire exercise uh, just to see how it works in a, uh, <laughs> well, there's only me here still, but we're going to play around with that a little bit. So here we have it wired up. So let's give it a try here. I'm going to plug in. You'll see it's kind of, it's kind of 
awkwardly floaty. So there we are at about four and a half volts is our, our full deflection here. That's with just me, so there's very little resistance there. Um, if I licked my fingers, I could probably get probably about the same, maybe a little bit better. Ah, there we go, like 4.8, got a little bit better. That's that. Now let's simulate uh, what's going on with, say, another person. This is a 10 mega ohm resistor that I'm going to use to simulate, you know, a little bit of resistance between two people. So I'm touching the power there and then over here, showing about 3.7-ish on that connection. So it does work and it's showing variable uh, output based on uh, some amount of resistance there. Okay, let's take a look at the design here. So uh, this is basically what you're going to see inside the shadow box there. So this will fit flush against the glass. And we have here our little meter cutaway here. Um, just across the top, it's more, it's more just whiz bang stuff. It's just some LEDs that are going to light up right across there. Um, from like, you know, broken heart, cold fish to the, you know, little sweethearts, hot stuff. You know, we got some little hearts that are, they're probably going to light up here. This will light up or this will light up depending on, you know, where the meter is in here. Right here, right back here behind this is where the Arduino is going to sit. Uh, with the board on top and everything connected there. And this is a cutout for our start button and the uh, label start there. And that's really it, not much. Let's get this over to Plasma, get it cut, and let's put this thing together. We got all our parts together. Let's start putting this thing together. Okay, so that is the blank, what it looks like. And you can actually kind of see behind, you can see behind here, these outlines. Uh, these are gonna be the things that light up. Uh, you know, cold fish, hot stuff, and then of course the love meter branding. So what I want to do is I want to have these light up in uh, particular colors, you know, mostly red. Uh, but cold fish is going to be like a blue. And you can't really see it there. It just sort of looks gray. Um, hot stuff looks a little red. And it's a little blue. You can see some contrast there. But it's going to be a lot like a uh, like an old school arcade type thing where you've got this frosted front and it's masked on the back and then we can shine a light from the rear and you can see that it will light up in the appropriate color. So that's the idea. We're going to do that for uh, this hot stuff, for the cold fish, and love matic is just going to be the white color, I think. And I've got some, uh, some, some hearts to light up, LEDs here. And this thing's going to come together pretty nicely. Okay, so we've got all the uh, lights wired and attached to the main uh, piece, the, the face, if you will. Uh, now I need to attach all of this to the Arduino. And the best way to do that is going to be by building a little shield. And to do that, I'm going to use this fancy Dan piece of protoboard here. This is the good stuff. This is, it's fiberglass, it's got the solder pads on both sides. I love using this stuff. It's very clearly marked. Uh, I love, love, love using this kind of uh, protoboard. What we're going to do, we'll set this right on top of there. We'll put some headers in here, get that soldered in, and then we'll start to actually like put everything on the board. And this thing will be just about finished, I think. Yes! All right, 
right, let's get this thing in a case and we're set. So I've got these uh, little conduit nipples. These are galvanized steel and very low resistance. Yeah, like very, very low resistance. It's steel, of course. So I'm gonna use these as the handles. I think what I'll do is I'll cap them with this little piece of uh, Schedule 40 PVC and these little uh, heavy duty bushings uh, that can screw right onto the end. That will work fantastically. And then we'll just hook them onto the side with these little robe hooks. And I think we're gonna have something very nice, very, very nice. So here it is. This is my Project Eros. This is the uh, love tester that I have been working on. This is the completed project. Look at that, looks very nice. It, it's a little dusty. The, the glass just attracts so much dust, but a little ammoniated glass cleaner and that'll fix that right up. So let's give this thing a whirl. Um, all right, so we push the big red button up here to get started. We got our Lovomatic lights up. These lights right here, this is uh, just telling you that it's uh, it's thinking and it's trying to find out. And you see that it's got the, the little meter just counts down for you. And then the uh, when it's done, the uh, needle will go to wherever it is on this uh, little meter that it uh, needs to go. And it's, uh, since there was nothing going on there, it just automatically defaults to a broken heart and a cold fish. Uh, so let's try this again and we'll measure myself here. I'm gonna grab my electrodes. And let's see what we got. Look at there, hot stuff. Looking for some hot stuff, baby, this evening. So the meter is fully lit. We have our uh, our lights lighting up and we have hot stuff. Um, this is sort of like the overflow condition uh, where it's like all the way over, but uh, yeah, it works. It, it, it's working right, uh, but this is not a very good uh, demonstration because, well, I mean, it's, it's just me, so there's no resistance there, so. Let me, um, let me take this home and, and try it with my wife, and I am actually kind of afraid. Uh, I really hope it works the way I intended it to, because that would be bad. Well, that's all the time we have for today. If you want to build your own version of this, you can check out the links in the doobly-doo, element14.com slash presents. You can get the bill of materials, the Arduino code, and everything else you're going to need. You can also check out events, contests, and so much more while you're there. My name is Matthew, and until next time, tally-ho, y'all.